as an industrialist, is not the power to use force. It's the power of producing something of value. That people want. And it's the people who literally control you because every purchase is a vote in the favor of some businessmen and in a way against others. It's the public who decides what they want to buy and what they pass up. If, using your examples, you became this powerful tycoon economically, yeah. but you cannot force anybody to deal with you and you cannot force competitors out of your field, then every smaller man would be in that field because you would have established a price way above the market. You might last a month if that. So in other words, if I tried to be Mr. Big and charge outrageously high prices for, you for go gasoline, broke. I would go broke in your view because in your leave them alone and let competition handle it approach to civilization, somebody with a smarter, with a better mousetrap, pardon my mixed metaphor. No, that's a very good one. All right. Would come along and undercut me. That's right. Sell at a cheaper price. But it isn't just my view. You know what I'll do? I'll buy him up the minute I see this bird. I'll buy him. I'll own him and on Tuesday. And where will you get your money when you're not I'm already allowed? already holding them up for $2.50 a gallon. But they're not paying you. You say they're all going out well, of business. They've got to get to work. We're married to a petroleum uh, civilization. All right. no to... This has been done, you know. It isn't incidentally just my view. That is history. There are people who have tried okay. to corner the market repeatedly, right. and the result was that they went broke. L right. Let me see if I understand you now. How do you ex see if this has got it? You're saying, in effect, that the oil companies have this power because we gave it to them. We gave it to them with our large cars that need a lot of gasoline. We gave, them, we gave it to them with, with our wasteful practices of energy. We have such a tremendous demand and need and reliance on oil that we, in effect, have given the people who, make, who produce the oil the power over us. No. <laughs> tell me, tell me how, where that's wrong. Because the oil producers are not the only people whom we patronize and not the only people who supply a need. The, even if, which I say if, it never happens, but let's suppose one oil man cornered the market, he has competition from every other industry who produce other things which we need. Therefore, we cannot give all the power to one company even if in a given field we patronize only that company. That company is competing with every other producer. And the moment you charge too much and somebody can give us the same product mm -hmm. uh, at a lower price, he'll put you right. out of business. Okay. You realize, of course, that your critics suggest that you're just, that this is a pie in the sky, unpractical, notion that you're offering to us and that it sounds wonderful as you gather with the intellectuals at Look. some university but it doesn't work out on the street quite the opposite it's in the universities that it doesn't work because all the leftist ideas and all the misrepresentation of capitalism come from leftist liberal professors the universities the universities are the real villains right. in the picture. Okay. All right. You want... Uh, but okay, I go ahead. must make go ahead. one sm slight postscript. I don't give a damn about my critics. You don't, huh? No. Uh, because well. I have not okay. heard a good one. You haven't heard a good one? No. Okay. Someone who would be honest right. and, and discuss the issues without misrepresentation. Right. Let's try and walk into some other areas here in the brief time we have. And this right. is a little frustrating because they've got a lot of folks out here who want to question you. You do not accept the existence of, of a God, a divine prime mover. Eh? No. Now, the reason you don't is because you can't prove that, there, that such a entity or being or energy exists. I can't, or I, nor can anyone else. Uh, there is no proof. There is no proof that there is no... That there, so, therefore, you've concluded that there isn't one. That's right. Um, you can't prove there isn't. You, you are never called upon to prove a negative. That's right. a law of logic. All right. Why can't we have you, why can't we have you say, Mr. Donahue, <laughs> I can't prove there's a God, so I just have to take a pass on that one. No comment. I don't know. 
Why don't you say, I don't know, rather than, I'm sure there isn't? Because you can't accept, even as a hypothesis, something for which there is no evidence. I couldn't oh, I say... Think I think there's circumstantial evidence. There isn't any. Oh, this is pretty, I mean, this is pretty impressive, huh? It's magnificent. No, it's I mean the universe. Built by man. The universe. You've got to be impressed with the universe. When you see order in the universe, this wasn't an accident, Miss Rand. Oh, now you've got to give me a few minutes. <laughs> what do you think would happen in a disorderly universe? In a disorderly universe. What's the concept of order? What does it have to do with the things which exist? If they clashed with each other, if there were contradictions, they wouldn't exist. There is no such thing as a disorderly universe. Our whole concept of order comes from observing reality. And reality has to be orderly because it's the standard of what exists. Right. The, so The contradictions cannot exist. Okay, so we have an orderly universe because it's impossible to have a disorderly universe. That's I got right. that. I understood that. Fine. You understand what a breakthrough that is that I understood that? <laughs> oh. All right, now, ex having accepted that, Okay, having accepted that, I still don't understand why you just, why can't you just leave the door open? Why do you have to be so unforgiving and so final and so, don't talk to me about it, you can't prove it, and anybody who goes around believing it is wasting time. Okay, we'll get out there and give you that chance I, in a moment. Uh, he's quite right. Yeah, he thinks God can be proved. But That's right, and shouldn't be. Okay, yes. But the real issue here, as far as man is concerned, is that when you accept, all right. Such an important issue as the creation of the universe, yes. on face, you're destroying your confidence and the validity of your own mind. It has to be either reason or face. I am against God for the reason that I don't want to destroy reason. I don't... Give us a chance, all right? We appreciate your zeal, but if you continue that, it's going to make it difficult for the other people to absorb oh, what, what's going on here. He okay? says, how can I be against God? I'm against those who conceived that idea. It, tell and us why. Tell us why. Because then it gives man permission to function irrationally, to accept something above and outside the power of their reason and superior to reason. And what's so bad about that? Why can't I be a reasonable philosopher walking around wondering what it's all about, struggling, striving, trying to understand, enjoying the quest and the journey, and, and then in the last, the last little part of my consciousness I say, I know you're there somewhere. I don't understand why you did it this way, but I certainly can't wait to die and find out. Because that... Tell me, you know, I'm not grandstanding. Do you understand that? Are you? I'm not trying to be cute now. I'm, I'm honestly trying to understand, and I know that it's easy to step on person of your controversial view and wave a flag. I don't want to do that. No, but do you appreciate the question? Do you understand? Why are, why are those two things not possible? Yes, you you've, uh, said it, I think, unintentionally. It, you said, so I can't wait to die and find out that I am serious is one of the results of acting on faith. You can't wait to get out of this life. And, 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 the, and there, what's wrong with that? Because this life is wonderful, as you said. Because... If you look at the universe, it's wonderful. And you have to use your life to the best of your understanding. If you go by emotions, not reason, it means you're going against reality. Something exists, something is right, and you say, no, I don't like it, because I want to believe something else. You, in effect, go by emotions, by your whims, not by reason. And religion or the God concept or faith or worship <clears throat> has, people, has people thinking of life as a veil of tears through which you That's will right. probably not get without falling. You are essentially an evil person who is bent toward... Well, most religions do preach just that. And you don't believe that? God, no. <laughs> you think that life should be a celebration? Yes. We're lucky to be here? We, we well, should be happy yeah, to be here. We cannot be okay, lucky no, because right. if we weren't right. here, we, were, we wouldn't be. There's 